Hi everyone, it's Joe here at Equiparts, and some of you may know that we sell replacement parts for our windows, like balances and hinges and, and operators and things like that, but what you may not know is that we also carry window treatments. And so I have Rebecca from Graber here with me today, and she is going to tell us all about blinds and shades to be used in commercial applications for your building to maybe give your building a fresh new look. Thanks so much for coming in today, Rebecca. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So Joe, what I want to talk about first is one of the most popular applications out there for commercial use right now. And it's really grown in popularity over the past five years. And that is solar shades, also known as solar screens. So we have a sample of one here. So a solar shade is a shade that is used not so much for privacy, but is used to block the hot UV rays as they come in the window. So it's great for commercial applications because it's going to stop glare on computers. It's going to keep the room um, at a cooler temperature than if you didn't have something on the window. But the nice thing is residents or employees can still look out and see the beauty of nature oh, all wow. around. That's great. So you've probably seen these shades a lot used in restaurants over the years. But now they've become so popular in commercial applications, hospitals, nursing homes, high schools, colleges. So it is our fastest growing um, category in the shade industry right now. So solar shades, when you go to select your shade, it's gonna come in about four different opacity levels. We say like a 1%, a 3%, a 5%, or a 10%. And that's basically telling you how much of the UV rays will be blocked. So for example, on a 1%, we're going to block 99% of the hot UV rays. Oh, I see. So the lower the number, the more of the sun we're going to block. Comes in a wide variety of colors. Um, this happens to be a continuous loop mechanism, and this is, gets bolted down to the uh, inside of your window. It's actually a safety feature so that no child would be able to get their head caught around uh, the cord here. We also offer, offer this shade in a cordless mechanism also. And how so, does that work? So you're just going to give it a, a short tug and the blind's going to roll Oh, up. I see. You manually Cordless. move it yes, up and down with have, your hand. Yes. I see. Really gotcha. popular. Also very popular in the marketplace for economical blinds. Would you believe that the good old fashioned mini blinds are still quite popular? So we have here an example of a one inch mini blind. This happens to be cordless. So you're going to find that in the world of blinds and shades right now, we're going moving towards more cordless features. Um, that's government regulated. They like to see more cordless due to child and safety features. Gotcha. So this mini blind comes in uh, probably about 30 different colors. We can get it in aluminum or vinyl and the aluminum can come in a six gauge or an eight gauge, depending on how heavy you want it. Which number is, is heavier, the six the or the eight? eight? The eight gauge. The eight gauge is heavier, okay. Yes, perfect solution if you're looking for something economical or something that might need replaced. For example, a college dorm or um, something that gets a lot of use, rental properties. And you think that when the renter leaves, the blind might have gotten misused a little bit. It's more of an economical blind that you can easily replace. I see. Which, which one is uh, less expensive, the vinyl or the aluminum? So the vinyl is going to be a little bit less expensive, but very limited in colors. You only have about four colors in the vinyl. Pretty neutrals, whites, creams, a gray. But in the aluminum, we have 30 to 40 different colors. So if you really want to match something nicely, you can. I so. see. Now, when you, you say this is a one-inch blind, that refers to the, the width of the slat, correct? Yep. That is I most see. popular. Now, as far as controls, um, most of these come with a wand that you're going to tilt and open and close the blind. So at night, they can have privacy. And then during the day, they can just open it up and have a nice view to the outside. So once again, perfect for many solutions out there, especially if you're looking for something a little bit more economical. There you go, mini That's blinds. That's great, so. excellent. Well, thanks so much for coming in today, Rebecca. One very important thing, if you're going to be placing an order with us for some blinds, it's very important that you measure your windows correctly. There's a proper way to do that. And if you would like to find out the right way to measure your windows, just click on the link on your screen right now. We have a separate short video that shows you how to measure your windows. And uh, that way you can make sure that your blinds and your shades will fit perfectly when you install them. I'm Joe. Thanks again, Rebecca, for Thank coming you. and hanging out with us today. 
Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.